Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back with another video, and as you guys can see by the title, we're back with another performance comparison. And today, we're taking a look at the Nike PG2 and Adidas Stain Force. Let's get it. Damien Lillard and Paul George, very exciting basketball players. Facts. Both fantastic all stars. Highlight I horse. love watching them play, bro, because they're both just so smooth. Highlight holes. You know those guys with the smooth jump shots? Yeah, they got it. Smooth jumpers, and they both have smooth shoes, bro. Oh. And today we're going to compare both shoes. So let's get straight into it. So, first and foremost, starting out with the aesthetics of both shoes. PG2, we've said it before, it didn't look great in pictures. Nope. It didn't look amazing in hand. It looked alright. So, yeah. it's alright, innit? Whereas the Dame 4s, this colorway, I keep saying it time and time again, is not the best representation of the Dame 4. The all black colorway, I'll say it once again, is absolutely fantastic. I think the point has to go to the Dame 4 purely because it just looks a bit better than the PG2s. Right? I think to level the blame for if they were both an all black colorway, yeah. would you come out on top? It's the Dames. The Dames. The Dames. Lovely. Now moving on to the traction in both shoes, over here in the Dame 4s, what we have is the shark yield slitted traction pattern, which surprisingly was actually pretty good. It started off a bit inconsistent, mm. and I wasn't too sure. You know when you watch other videos and you hear guys say you know, they need to break their traction in? Yeah. This is, this is a shoe where you need to break the traction I never knew what in. that meant, yeah, I hear that. Jimmy, but I hear that. now that we do this performance thing, we've done a couple of videos, a couple of shoes yeah, that we've, right, we've now. ran through now, so, yeah. and I get breaking in traction. This is a shoe whose traction you need to break in. You've got to break in traction now? But it's good. That's crazy. Yeah, it's I good. The traction is really good. It's a bit inconsistent at first, but once you break it in, it's fine. So over here in the PG2, we've got that psychedelic floral pad, which does the trick from the jump. It is really soft, so a durability tick it doesn't quite get because we see it on both the solid and on the translucent. But the traction itself is bad boy. It's lovely. I mean, it wraps as well, so we've got it on the medial side to give you that kind of that drag traction as well. I call it. Yeah, mate. On both the solid, translucent, bad boy traction. I think I think it, it earned over here. Yeah, hundred percent. Job done. Job done. Job done. Job done. Job done. Easy. Easy. So next up, we're talking about cushioning in both shoes. Here in the PG, we've got that cord out final midsole with that four foot zoom in the. In the forefoot, well, that's what I said. So, forefoot zoom. The 10 millimeter forefoot zoom does the trick. Felt amazing from the jump. Again, none of that breaking in over here. Yeah. Felt buff. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Great stuff in there. Yeah. Over here in the Dame 4, we have balance cushioning. Now, it's not Adidas's best cushioning system, but it's still bloody fantastic Something. to me. Something, right? It's one of my favorite foams because it's so responsive, low to the ground, and just provides that protection that you need it's not too much mm, but it does the job need as a guard i like the low profile setup too yeah and it's super close between both shoes but i think i'm gonna have it to give it to the to the pg2s because team four foot zoom people team four foot zoom you just can't go wrong with it man it's, 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 a, t it's a tough cookie. it's a tough one but i love tough it one. and what i like about it in the pg2 as well is that it feels so similar to Jordan Brand's flight plate. Yes. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, similar in that feeling, do you know what I mean? I'm it's different you. to previous um, four foot zoom shoes that we had in the past. Mm. It just feels fantastic, man. So the point has to go to the PG2. Now, moving on to the materials on both shoes, over here in the Dame 4, what we have is mesh with these TPU yarns underneath the mesh. And it moves almost seamlessly into this neoprene one piece construction. I'm a huge fan of one piece construction. I love the way the materials in these shoes have these two different pieces but it's all one piece mm. pretty much i love the way it feels straight out of the box minimal breaking time is required very comfortable shoe love the materials on this shoe so over here in the pg2s we've got a whole mesh construction along with suede panels to give it that premium touch along with a neoprene inner booty all of the materials came together super well made the shoe soft made the shoe light made the shoe super comfortable all at the same time so this one's actually hard. It's a hard one. It's close, once again, because they it's, both kind of take the same yeah, boxes. They both take the same boxes. I think the reason why I prefer it okay. in the Dame 4, it's just that one piece construction that you have I hear there. That. It's a bit more durable as well, I think, with the TPU yarns as well. There's less to break when it's less only one piece. Less to break, do you know what I mean? I so that. I think in terms of materials, I think it has to go to the, to the Dame 4. Yeah, I agree with that. So next up, talking about the fit in the PG2, we just have a great fitting shoe. Fantastic uh, fitting shoe, man. What I tell you, I don't know. I just spoke about materials, the mesh, the suede, the neoprene, the lacing system, this band, which now replaces the, the predecessor yeah, strap. strap. Fam. Fam? Yeah. Fam. Yeah. 
Fam. Straight up. Over here in the Dame form, I love the one piece construction. It provides that beautiful one to one fit mm -hmm. that a lot of us like in our shoes. I love it. I prefer sock -like, it. Sock like, yeah. It's sock like feel. I mean, I really like that fit. The only difference between the two shoes is that I just feel like that shoe just fits any and all types of feet. I hear that. It's just the way the PG2 just conforms to your foot and kind of molds around your feet and the way the lacing system attaches to all the different parts of the materials. It's crazy, bro. It brings it together. And it's funny because we're coming from a non-biased way. I've tried them on, you tried them on. Yeah. But everyone we've spoke to of different types of feet can say the same thing. Yeah. So it's, it's out here. The fit is fantastic. The fit. Um, the shoes fit. Now moving on to the support in both shoes over here in the Dame 4. The support is really good. It comes from that one-to-one -one fit and the way the shoe moves with your foot pretty much. We have these dynamic cables which help lock mm -hmm. your feet down. We have the outrig of the shoe and the heel counter as well. So the lockdown in this shoe is very, very nice. Obviously we have this sock like construction. So it, it is a mid top, high top shoe, but it feels like a low top shoe. Yeah. So the support does come from the way it locks your foot down, which is pretty decent. Over here in the PG2, after mentioning the fit, after listening the materials, you can only imagine the support comes out A0. A0. What comes before A? Last time you almost said X. Yeah. It's definitely not X. I don't know why we fought X. I'm not sure why we fought X. X zero. X zero. That is bro. the support. And why? From the band in the front, it locks down the forefoot. From yeah. the lacing system takes care of the midfoot. The neoprene and the plus the lacing system takes care of the ankle. The outrigger takes care of the lateral support. The heel counter takes care of the heel. God, everything. You're locked down from every angle. It's mad. With a few that fit so well. It's only gonna make sense for it to bring in that support. Yeah. And it just does that. So X zero, X zero support. Handles. So last but not least, we're talking about price. Now this one's all messed up. Yeah. Over here in the UK, the PG2 is 95 pounds. The Dame 4 is 90 pounds. However, across the pond in the States, the PG2 is $110, where the Dame 4 is $115. So we're just gonna say they're the same price. Same price. Same price. That's gonna do for it's us. Handled. We're gonna do what? Both 95? 95. If anyone asks, they're both 95 pounds. Easy. With that being said, we've already spoke about what you get from the PG2. You get a, a melody, a, what's the word they use? What's not melody? Symphony. A symphony. Man said symphony. A symphony <laughs> of materials. A, si a harmony of materials and med a medley of materials. <laughs> You've got suede, you've got mesh, you've got neoprene, you've got that four foot zoom, 10 millimeter four foot zoom. Traction is fantastic. It's bad boy over here. Yeah. Dame, you've got that mesh with the TPU, you've got that bounce, you've got that great traction, the one to one feel. It's tough. It's a close one. It's very tough. It's gonna have to be the PG. Yeah, when you're talking value for money, 100%. Talking value, will you pay? An extra five pounds or five dollars in this case, or whatever case you want to make it in for that zoom bag. I'd do it. Yeah, I'd do it. I'd it. do it. Yeah, I'd do it. So as you guys can see from the score, the PG2 is clearly the winner in today's battle. But by no means is the Dame Four a bad shoe, by bro. No means. The Dame Four is one of my favorite shoes to play in right now. I love playing the Dame Four. I love the bounce cushioning, the low responsiveness it gives me as a guard. So both shoes are great. Definitely recommend both shoes. Both. But the PG2 comes out on top today. So all right guys, there you have it. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed. Show us that support like you guys have already been doing. And of course, comment down below whichever shoe you think comes out on top if you've tried both, or even what shoe you've got your eye on when you're gonna be copping soon. Follow us on Instagram, at purekicks.ig, and on Twitter as well, at purekicks underscore TW. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you make sure you guys stay up to date with Pure Kicks. If it's our comparisons, our performance reviews, our unboxings, you have to make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Hit the bell next to the button to make sure you get a notification every time we drop a new video. So all right guys, that's everything from us. This is the Nike PG2. This is the Adidas Dame 4s. We're Pure Kicks. Let's get it.